Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv uh, We've got some beautiful darts here from Mission. We had the Richie Edhouse Black Titanium Edition. Really looking forward to getting these out of the box and having a look. Uh, they look relatively grippy. Um, obviously I don't do fantastic with grippy darts, but it looks interesting to me. So what I want to do is head over to the board and have a closer look. Okay, we're over the board. We've got the Richie Ed House Black Titanium Edition darts. Showing you there the 90% tungsten. Uh, so like over on the left as well as on the right. Beautiful so like window there showing the full dart. And it's like a glimpse of the flight as well. We've got the 23 gram, which are 0 0.05 gram match weighted. Obviously mission logo down at the bottom. Over on the back. Richie Ed House up at the top and obviously a little bit there about mission itself. What's in there, some safety warning and the mission logo. We'll get the darts out, have a look. And here we go. Right, comes in this sort of like plastic velvet coated insert which keeps the darts nice and safe which is really nice. You've got the three darts really striking that blue against the black and obviously the mission flights up there, the Ed House flights. We'll get a closer look at the darts themselves. And here we go. Right, uh, first off, we've got that black coated point. Uh, it tends to come on a lot of the mission darts, which is really, really good. Adds all that extra grip. Then you've got a short rounded nose section that's quite short before you go into this it's like very staggered grip you've got like a recessed ring and then a raised ring um, which is equal to the front of the ball part and that goes all the way back i'd say three quarters of the dart at least um, and you've got that beautiful like blue cobalt color in there in each of the grooves um this is very grippy i feel um from here my fingers fit in between the raised rings really really well that lowered ring just stops you from going too deep to give you way too much grip um, obviously once you get to the back it sort of slightly tapers to the stem and that's got the etch mission logo and you've got that cobalt blue in that extra ring right at the back as well and you've got the grip lock stems and the little rings that come with them as well beautiful short stems i do like short stems um yeah this feeling really really grippy it's it's strikingly so like the color the blue against the titanium really really stands out you're not going to mistake these when you're throwing them and then they feel really nice and thin as well which is good for grouping um we've got the 23 grams they come in at 6.4 millimeters wide and 53.2 millimeters long so a fairly long dart um, obviously the main grip isn't at the very back so you've got a good what I'd say 13 mil at the back which most people won't be using um, but this grippy section here is going to suit quite a few people it's grippy enough to get in there and throw with hard fingers um, with soft fingers I, I, I definitely think these are going to be very very grippy but uh, what we'll do we'll go and head over at the board and see how we get on with them Okay, so we're over at the board. We've got Richie Edhouse starts here. Really striking that black and blue. Obviously from the black titanium editions. So, uh, yeah, fairly grippy. Um, hopefully I don't pull it too much, but we'll try and make the adjustment. I'll have a couple of throws just to get used to them, and then we'll go into our 201 practice routine. So let's see how we get on. Oh, straight in the treble. And again. Oh, 180. Oh, we can't complain at getting a 180, can we? Oh, and another one. Oh. And 140. If all that was in the 180, I would have had to have tried the 9 data, wouldn't I? A 180 and a 140, or I might find a new set of darts to play with, you never know. But uh, let's go into our 201 practice routine, and hopefully we do just as good. Game on. One hundred and thirty-nine, that's a nice good start. Only got sixty-two left to get. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, just on the wire of the double there. Only the 30, 32 left to get. And in one dart. Wow, what can I say? I think I've done really, really well with these darts. Ended up doing it in six darts. Really can't complain. A 180 as well. Bonus. Right, I, you know what? I think we're going to have a review on these. Okay, so we had a throw. I started off really, really well. Messed about with my finishing, but seven darts, I'm more than happy with that. Uh, they were a very grippy dart. I thought I was going to pull them everywhere but into the 20. But I think sorry, adjusting slightly with the grip really, really did help. Um, I'm going to give these a grip rating of four. For me, that is a really, really high grip, personally. But like I said, it's personal preference. Some people are really, really going to love a really grippy dart. Um, and that grip goes the whole way, pretty much. So there's loads of areas to grip, whether you're a front, mid or rear gripper. Um, these are 23 gram darts, and they only come in 23 grams. So there's not a massive choice to choose from, but it's dead smack there in the middle of like the majority of darts players now. So it's like pub and league level and everything like that. Uh, the measurements are 6.4 millimeters wide and 53.2 millimeters long. Really thin, so you get a lovely amount of grouping in the treble. Um, not masses of like deflection or anything. Um, they are quite long, um, but that does give you a lot of area to play about with your grip and find exactly what's right for you. Uh, obviously, they're 90% tungsten as well, and the price point, I would say, it's dead smack in the middle now at 49.95 that's what majority of these sort of darts are going for it's not breaking the bank but it's still a little bit of an investment um you are paying for all of the, like the extra coatings the milling and everything like that because don't forget these are the black titanium edition ones so yeah the extra coating does add that sort of extra feel and grip and what have you as well um i did like them um, hopefully if you're lucky enough you've got a dart shop or somebody else who's got a set so you can try before you buy as it was because um, that's always the best way to make your mind up um, if you've got a set or you're thinking of getting a set or if you agree or disagree with anything I've said head on down to the comment section and let us know I try and engage with everyone and get back to you as soon as I can head over to dartsreviews.tv and dartsplanet.tv there's articles and reviews and lots of products on there as well something for everyone whether you've got five minutes spare or if you want to read for an hour there is something for everyone and um, make sure you tip subscribe and tick the notifications as well because uh we've got loads of reviews coming up in the future and it's so like something for everyone it's not just darts there's t-shirts there's flights there's boards everything so whatever you're thinking about getting in the future hopefully we'll be reviewing it and we can help you make your mind up um and yeah hopefully you'll come back and check us out again soon bye